Now Detroit is hockey time, hockey town, should I say, and time and time again, international competitions come to the metro area to host their big tournaments. Our Justin Rose joins us now with a particularly unique type of hockey in town. Yeah, very particularly unique indeed. More than 1,100 hockey players from the United States and Canada came to Fraser over the weekend for the 2016 Disabled Hockey Festival. The types of games included sled hockey, special amputee, and deaf games, but one type of hockey played definitely caught my attention. I think the USA Hockey Disabled Festival is really a, a shining light for persons with disabilities to show them that if you love hockey, there's no reason you can't play. There's no barrier that you can't overcome. Looking at the action on this rink, you might think it's just a normal game. The speed, precision, and accuracy are all there. But subtle changes tell a different story. Other senses take over in this game, as every player on the ice is legally blind. The goalies are completely. It's, it's incredible. I mean, I'm still in awe of these goalies. They're making pad saves, they're making blocker saves. I mean, it's great that the rule where you have to pass it before you can shoot probably helps. David Klink of Ann Arbor has Stargardt's disease and glaucoma that has lowered his vision since his teenage years. But his love for the game is renewed with the creation of this relatively new type of hockey. Three years ago, we only had one American player, and he was our only international player outside of Canada. Wow. And now we're in the USA Hockey Disabled Festival, and we had seven different states represented here this weekend. And we're in, uh, anticipating that next year, uh, we're going to have more than two to three times that many players from the United States, and hopefully a Canada versus USA series very soon. Well, Michigan is a hockey state, I mean, for sure. So there's other people who have visual impairments. There's other people who love hockey. I think this is going to grow, and I really hope it does. I'd love to play again. Incredible. Just in the competition, the level of competition, I didn't expect that. I, it was awesome. It's like I stepped back out on the ice. I was 18 again playing with these guys. Both of you guys during that were wowing, and it's <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, David up. actually scored the game-winning goal. I just happened to have my camera down talking to somebody while he did it, but unbelievable. Did you hear that whistle that was yeah. going off? You have to make a pass. That's one of the rule changes. It's differently. You have to make a pass before you can shoot the puck on the goalie so the goaltender hears, hey, I got to get ready for a and the goal. Tenders are 100% blind. blind, can't see anything. Yeah, that, that is, amazing. is amazing. amazing. It is amazing. Absolutely, and the, very the nets, inspirational. Yeah, the nets are shorter and they're wider, but the puck is also bigger. So it's it's an interesting game. Definitely very unique to watch. They're better on skates than on everything. <laughs> <laughs> very very good stuff. Yeah, yeah great story.